Hey everybody, welcome back. Chad Van Herp, your personal trainer with Roadrunner Sports. And today we're getting back into that seven minute strength series that we went into. If you didn't catch that last video, you can always go to the link below and go check it out there. That was a big full body exercise routine. Now what we're gonna do today is the same idea, seven minute strength training exercise routine, but we're gonna go into hamstrings and glutes specifically. So instead of total body, we're really gonna focus on the posterior chain. And I can't tell you how common it is for people to be weak through their glutes and their hamstrings. So often I see people out on the road running and they're just barely shuffling through. The reason that they're shuffling through and primarily using their calves and potentially leading themselves into some Achilles tendonitis or plantar fasciitis, the reason they're doing that, they don't have the strength in their hamstrings and glutes to actually pull their leg through and actually get hip extension which is gonna use those big lower body muscles to actually help power you down the road. Okay, that's where the strength in the running stride lies, are those big muscles of the lower body, not in your calves. So stop shuffling. We're gonna show you some really easy exercises that you can do anywhere from home, no equipment necessary, to make sure that you've got those powerhouse muscles on board and that you're preventing them from any injury in the future. So we've got four exercises for you. Three of them are strength training exercises and one's a stretch to finish it off because we want to make sure those hamstrings aren't sitting too tight. We're going to get into it right now and coach you through how to do it. The first exercise we're moving into is a hamstring step up. So I'm going to move over here. We've got Lawan already in position, ready to go. And again, you can use a park bench with a, a backing on it. You can set this up at home with a chair holding on to the rail of the stairs or any other stable surface. The key is to make sure it's stable to make this happen, okay? And all you're gonna do, this is very similar to a normal step up, but you'll notice as Lawan comes up into his step up here, he's gonna extend this off leg back and he's gonna keep his back at this flat angle. He's not gonna push his head up to the ceiling. That's where the hands come into play to kind of keep your body in position and keep that torso nice and flat. Now you're gonna lower down under control. You can use your hands for a little bit of assistance. And then as soon as you touch the ground, you're coming right back up. So slow on the way down, use that eccentric loading pattern, do it under control, come up right there. Good, perfect. Another key on this is to make sure you're driving through this heel. You don't want the pressure coming into that forefoot that's gonna load up your knee and your quad, and by engaging the heel into the bench, you're gonna ensure that we're getting the hamstrings and the glutes working harder than anything else here. You're gonna aim for about 20 reps per side, either that or about a minute, if you'd rather go for a duration rather than a rep range. All right, guys, for the second exercise, we're doing a single leg RDL, also known as a Romanian deadlift, okay? And this is gonna really target the hamstring through hip extension. It's also gonna include a little bit of stability work. It also adds in the contralateral movement patterns that you use in running where you get that left side and right side of the body working together across the upper and lower halves. Okay, so we're gonna move into that right now. So what you wanna do first is you wanna find something steady to hang on to. And when I say hang on to, you don't, need to, you don't need to hold too firmly, but you want something that allows you to have some sort of stability because if you're not stable, you're not gonna be able to produce much force. You're not gonna be able to actually get a strong contraction from the hamstring. So what you do is just find something to rest your hand on, something immovable, something that can support you. Then you're gonna slightly bend your plant leg knee. So we're gonna have the one on his right leg. So he's gonna bend that knee, create a nice soft angle there. Okay, that's gonna free up his hamstring. Now he's just gonna take this left hand and reach it right to about shin level. Okay, I see, you see how flat his back is. That's perfect right there. Now he's gonna drive this foot into the floor and pull himself back up through hip extension. Again, the key is that slow reach down, keeping this back flat. You can see this leg's nice and extended. That's perfect. And then coming up by driving down into this plant foot. The other thing Luan's doing perfectly here too, you can see so many people let their pelvis roll open when they're doing this exercise. He's staying nice and square. That's perfect at targeting the hamstring. You're getting a big, nice eccentric stretch and load across that. And then what you can do is add a little bit of, 
a little bit of speed to it. So let's go a little quicker tempo as you get a little more comfortable with the movement. Perfect. If this was a little too easy for you, you could always add a dumbbell to that left hand or just like Luan did there and demonstrated there, he's got great balance. You can let go of that stabilizing post or pole and do it and add a little bit of stability to it. It might take a little bit of your strength away, but you're gonna get the, balance, the uh, benefit of that balance training. You're gonna go 20 reps each side. Again, 20 reps right side, finish up there, moving to the left side immediately after that. Okay, the third exercise we have for you to really dial in your hamstring strength and prevent injury there is a single leg glute bridge. Again, this is done from a lying position on the ground. It's a fairly simple exercise, but super effective. In contrast to the single leg RDL that we just did where we were working that hamstring through a real long stretched position, now we're making sure we take the hamstring from a different approach and work it in a shortened position. So with a bent knee and an extended hip, we're gonna get that short position, really force this hamstring to work hard. All right, here we go. Right, so the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna just get in this supine position, lying on your back, knees bent at about a 45 degree angle. So we're gonna actually open this up just a little, just a little bit wider and you want the feet hip width. You don't want a real wide stance for this glute bridge, okay? Second thing you're gonna do, you're gonna drive your elbows down into the ground and you're gonna try and retract your shoulder blades so we get that whole backside working. Then you're gonna go ahead and push through your heels and through your elbows and lift your hips up. Now, before we go into any repetitions, we wanna make sure that this position is stable. So I'm gonna have Luan lift his right foot straight out Extend it out, just hold, make sure the hips aren't dropping or lowering in level. He's gonna put it right back down and he's gonna alternate, put that left foot straight out, keep those hips stable, keep driving in with the elbows, back down, one more each side, boom, back down. So it just looks like you're marching in place here, back down. Now, now he's gonna lift this right leg straight out and he's gonna drive his hips up into the sky using just the heel through this left leg. So drop the hips down, lower, and drive up nice and smoothly. You don't wanna to go too quick. You don't wanna use a bunch of momentum. You're just driving straight into the heel. Try to really isolate the hamstrings. You'll get a little bit of glute on this as well, but mainly hamstrings driving you up into hip extension here. You're gonna shoot for 15 reps. Again, slow and methodical, under control, no momentum. And then once you finish your 15 reps, you're gonna go ahead and switch legs. Perfect. So let's see how he switches legs here. And then right into 15 reps here. Now, if you do find that you're getting a cramp in your hamstring on this, which happens oftentimes if your hamstrings are a little weak, what you can do is just simply extend this foot out in front of you a little bit. So I'll have you relax, come out. That takes it out of that real short position, gets it a little bit longer, and oftentimes that'll help you move out of that cramp. Okay, the final exercise we have is your sumo squat hamstring stretch. And this is just an exercise really designed at restoring the resting length back to the hamstring off of coming off of that single leg, uh, single leg glute bridge that got it so short. Okay, so it's a dynamic range of motion. It's not a static stretch. We're not just throwing our leg up on a bench and leaning out over it and doing some passive stretch that's gonna shut the muscle down since we just worked so hard to get it stronger and activate it. So we're going through this dynamic stretch. Again, sumo squat, hamstring stretch. We're gonna to get to that right now. Okay, so what you wanna do here is assume a just wider than shoulder width stance. Toes are pointed out a little bit. Okay, that's gonna really allow your knees to open up. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna squat down. So Luan's gonna squat down, butt to the ground. And what you wanna do is kinda of cup the heels of your shoes with your hands here. And while you're doing that, you can kinda of press out on your knees a little bit with your elbows, get a little bit of a stretch through your adductors. Once you settle into that, now you're gonna leave your hands on the ground here and you're gonna to try to lift your hips up. So you're trying to straighten your legs, you can tuck your chin. Good, that's pretty good hamstring flexibility. Once you're there, drop back down, butt down, chest up, push out on those knees, and then driving back up with your hips. Now the one's got pretty good flexibility here. He's getting almost to a locked out position. That's pretty impressive. That might not be your reality and that's okay. The goal with this stretch is to improve mobility and that resting length of the tissue, not to get your knees straight. So be aware, be smart. If you can feel that muscle starting to strain and pull too tight, do not force it. Work within your comfort zone. I mean, maybe a little bit of mild discomfort, but certainly don't try to push this stretch to any extreme ranges. You're gonna do this 10 times, up and down. It's gonna really help open up your hips and especially those hamstrings. 
All right, so there you have it. There's a seven minute strength training exercise specifically targeted at the hamstrings to really help injury proof you and give you more power out of those big muscles in your lower body. Okay, what you're gonna do is make sure that you're really implementing this workout at least twice a week with one, maybe two days of recovery between. It depends on how sore you are, especially with that single leg RDL, the big eccentric contractions, those big stretching contractions can sometimes produce a lot of soreness. So if you've got a lot of soreness out there or in those muscles, make sure you let that dissipate, let your body recover before you go back to it. But ideally, we're looking at about twice a week. Okay, in the meantime, feel free to leave any questions, concerns, comments down below, things you want us to cover, other muscles that we need to address, and I can go ahead and try and get those strength training exercises to you right away. As always, work hard, stay safe, and we'll see you guys out on the roads. Thank you.